at our character or our humanoid you can see the jump height is increasing every second so it's increasing our jump height now if we reset this should also uh should stay at where we left off it's actually still increasing I think. All right. welcome back guys to the roblox video today we're going to be doing a plus one jump every second game uh on roblox studio which is pretty cool and it's gonna be a pre uh, pretty quick and easy uh, tutorial so let's start with a script right here it's been suggested by a bunch of fans so we're gonna do it right now so let's start with a game that player added event so this will run every time a player joins the game game the player dot player added connect function here we're gonna add a player this is the player that joined the game this is how we access it and then once the player joined, we're gonna actually add the leader stats. Um, this will appear on the player list, so we can actually show uh, how much jumps you have for the entire server. Uh, and also we can use it to save uh, the player's amount of jumps uh, gained after the player died. So we're gonna do local uh, leader stats equal instance dot new folder. This is a folder leader stats dot name equal leader sets all right make sure you spell like this uh, this will hold all of our stats like jumps and other stats as well if you want to add more leader stats the uh, and that parent equal player all right, we're gonna parent this into the player now we're gonna add the jumps number value so local jumps equal instance dot new uh, number value jumps that name equals jumps jumps the value equals zero we're going to start at zero and then jumps up here equal leader stats so this will be the value of all of our um, all of our uh, jumps all right after this we can then uh, detect whenever the player spawns or respawns and we can do that by doing player dot character added connect function and then in here we will do car this will be this will represent the character of the player all right so now let's get the humanoid, local humanoid, equal car, wait for child, humanoid. All right, with a capital H. Now humanoid is how we can actually change the jump height and the jump power or the, the walk speed of the player. Uh, this will have all the properties so we can actually change that. I can show you real quick right now. So jumps zero, this is a leader stats. And let's go to uh, the, actually our character. This is our character. And if you go to our humor, you can see all these different properties we can change. So jump height is the uh, default value. You can also use jump power. Now this was an old property. It's essentially the same thing, except there's different, uh, it's a different number. Uh, so it starts at 50 by default. You can increase it, so like 70, and it increases your jump height. Um, or if you use jump height by default, you can increase this by like 10, and then it will also increase your jump height. Um, it's also, we can also change the walk speed as well. This was from our plus one walk speed every second tutorial I made uh, a while back, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the same. It's essentially the same thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make a function now. So it it adds a jump height every second, or it doesn't have to add one jump height. You can add like two if you want it to be faster, or you can add like a half a jump height every second. And it's up to you. So function add jump height. Right now, let's actually pass a player and the and the humanoid. Right, we're gonna use these two uh, objects, so the player and the humanoid. So let's actually do let's actually do local jumps equals player dot leader stats leader stats dot jumps. Right, so this is our jumps value. This is the stat that will keep on changing. Now let's do a while loop. So while wait one, do. So this loops every one second. And then we're gonna do jumps that value plus equals one. This adds one to the jumps value. And then we're gonna change the jump height. So hum dot jump height. Uh, we can do plus equals one, or we can just set this to jumps that value. like that so now every time we add to this this will then be set to the jump height of the 
uh, player's humanoid, which increases their jump height. All right. And then let's actually do this as well. So we're going to initialize the jump height from the initial jump value to the humanoid. And then we can add on while this while loop is looping, basically. All right. Now, what we can do is call this function, add jump height, and then we'll do player, then car, wait for child humanoid. Okay. And then this will then fire this function, which loops every one second. All right, so I think this should work. Uh, let's see, let's test this out. All right, jump is increasing every one second. Now, if you actually look at our character or our humanoid, you can see the jump height is increasing every second, so it's increasing our jump height. Now, if we reset, this should also uh, should stay at where we left off. It's actually still increasing, surprisingly, I think. All right, so it's still increasing, and it continues where we left off. And it basically continues. Now, what we can do to make this a bit better is add a uh, variable called died or has died equals false. So whenever the player died, we're going to actually break through this while loop so we can pause and then it will continue once the player spawns again. All right. So now we're going to do hum, which is the humanoid that died connect function. This fires every time the player dies. We're going to do has died equals true. And then make a if statement after this. If has died, then break. So if the player has died, we're gonna break through this while loop. We're gonna pause, and then once the player joins uh, or spawns again, we're gonna redo this function, and it's gonna start over after the player responds. All right. So let's try this out. All right. So it's increasing. We're starting very, very, very slow, but we're getting there. So now once we reset. Our jumps, uh, okay, it paused. Our jumps paused. Now, once we respond, it continues basically. So it's much more cleaner. Now, if you don't want to use jump power, you want to use jump power instead. You want to enable use jump power, um, the use jump power setting in the humanoid. So to do that, we can actually do so. If it's car, okay, so do humanoid dot use jump power uh, equals true. All right, that should be the property. And then you can use jump power, right? Because jump power is, is the older property. And I think, I don't know, it's deprecated or something. So Roblox doesn't really use it. They just use jump height now. Um, so you have to actually manually enable this property. So you can use jump power. Um, so instead of uh, jump height, we replace this with jump power. All right, like this. Um, and also you might want to start this at some, some higher number, maybe like 20 because the default, uh, jump power is 50. You'll kind of want to increase the starting value if you want. And it's gonna, you might also want to increase the increment if you want. So let's do like two, um, well, let's do, let's do 30 for this one and then increase this by two since jump power is much more, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but more, um, if you use just one every second, it's not going to make a big difference. It's going to take a while to actually increase your jump height um, compared to just using jump height instead of jump power, if you know what I mean. I know it's kind of confusing, but jump power and jump height are two completely different metrics. So that's why you kind of want to increase it more when we're using jump power. So you can see it's increasing by two. It's a bit more slower than jump height because the increments is less significant for jump power. All right, so works pretty cool. Work, works pretty cool. And reset and then test this again. Boom. That's pretty much it. Very, very simple tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more, subscribe and give this video a like. Give your suggestions down below. And join our Discord server if you want to join a future video. If you want to be in my in one of my future videos. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.